My parents died when I was 10 years old. I had to go and live with my uncle and his wife. Even when I was little, they made me do all the housework. If I didn't finish all the housework, my uncle would beat me with a stick. I had to work from morning till night. Every night, I dream about my mother. She promised me that one day I'll have a good life. But when I grew up, I had to work even harder. But I kept on dreaming and hoping. Then one day, I met a woman. She was standing by the water well. She asked me, why are you working so hard, carrying the water cans? They are so heavy. A nice girl like you. I asked, but what can I do? She said she could get me a job working for her brother and his wife, who are living abroad and needed someone to look after their children. She said I could live in a nice big house, save some money and have a good life. She took me to a native doctor. He made me swear never to tell anybody about me going to work abroad. He said if I did, I would be cursed forever. Afterwards, the woman gave me new clothes and shoes and a passport. I was so excited. I told my mother's promise has come true. I was a bit scared. I've never been on an airplane before, but the woman said, everything is going to be all right. Ever since I was a little girl, I loved to read. My teacher told me that if I studied hard, I would go to university one day. But when I was 15, my father suddenly took me out of school. He said I must marry. The man I had to marry was 50 years older than me. So I ran away to the city where I knew no one. I started selling bags of water in the market. Every night before I fall asleep, I would promise myself a miracle would happen and I'll find a way to go to university someday. Then this man started talking to me in the market. He told me that he heard that I was very brilliant and that he would help me to go to university. I couldn't believe it, but he showed me photographs of other young students that he said they had placed in good universities abroad. He even bought me expensive new shoes. I was sure that the miracle had happened. He arranged the passport and everything, but I had to promise never to tell anyone about my plans, otherwise he would cancel everything. I was so happy. Mm. But as soon as we got off the airplane, he took me to the car park. He pushed me into a car. There was another man waiting in the car. It was dark outside. We drove for a very long time. I was so scared, I didn't know where they were taking me. Grace didn't know that the man would sell her to a brothel. She never imagined that she would be forced to work as a prostitute. She never made it to university. Rose didn't know that the woman would sell her to a pimp. She didn't know that she would be forced to have sex with hundreds of men. She didn't know how to escape. Rose was only 16 years old. These stories are true. Every year, thousands of girls are persuaded by traffickers to leave their home in search of a better life, only to be sold into prostitution against their will. They endure years of unspeakable suffering. All I ever wanted in this life was to study. All I wanted was a better life. False promises took Rose and Grace on a dangerous journey. They were locked up and forced to work as prostitutes. There was no good money, no good university, and no good life. 
Their dream of a better life turned into a nightmare. Don't let this happen to you. Thank you.